We had, uh, even before Jen had called to, uh, you know, to say that we had the job, we knew that if offered, we were, we were, we were coming. And of course, with this, with this school moving to another conference now, you're the perfect person for that. Well, we're excited. I think that, you know, the going to the Big Ten is like such a huge move. And, um, you know, the college landscape right now, SEC and, and, and Big Ten are, are the two premier conferences. And I think any competitor wants to, you know, wants to coach at the, at the highest level and certainly collegiately, uh, the Big Ten is there. And of course, everyone is trying to find out what about Bronny, what's he going to do and things like that. Well, I mean, I need to try to get a hold of Bronny. I've, uh, I've texted him. Certainly, he's got a lot of options. And, uh, you know, we, we respect those options. And uh, we just want him to know that, hey, you know, this opportunity here, if you, if you want to play at USC, we'd love to have him. And uh, such a talented young man. And, and uh, you know, but again, he's got a lot of, lot of opportunities. And so it's just a matter of us connecting. And hopefully we'll do that soon. And of course, there's going to be a lot of uh, moving around anyway in college basketball, in college athletics these days anyway. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the movement is, uh, you know, it, it mirrors what's going on in, 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 in the pros to many degrees. Uh, with the way that the transfer portal is and so uh, building a roster i think you can build a, a roster fairly quickly um if the if you have the appropriate plan coach what are your thoughts on now being in southern california i've had success recruiting in southern california before but what are your just thoughts on the landscape overall high school basketball in southern california yeah i mean obviously you know the, the talent um for many many years not just that you know it's I mean, there's a lot of really great players in this area, and certainly we're going to try to recruit uh, the, the entire Southern California and Northern California, but um, the L.A. area has always had great players. I mean, I think back to when I was 12, 13, 14 years old, there was great players, um, always will and always has been, you know? So we need to recruit, recruit this market to, to the best of our ability once we get a staff together. Hey. Coach, you're, coach, you're from the Southern California area. Is this kind of like a dream job for you, coming back home to Southern California? I don't think there's any question that, that this is like a dream job for us. Um, you know, not just me, but my entire family. Both my sons are, um, you know, went to the University of San Diego and they grew up in, in Northern California in the Bay Area. So um, for us to, to, to be in Los Angeles, for sure, I mean, it's, you know, like I had mentioned earlier, it's, you know, this is our third time living here. And uh, that's super cool, and, and we're really, really excited about that. Eric, go ahead. Uh, I know Jen was alluding to your passion and intensity as a critical part of what you bring to a job. How, how would you say that's been critical just throughout your career? And maybe what have you learned about yourself and, and that intensity over the course of that time? Yeah, I mean, I, th I you know, I want our teams to play with intensity, but also joy. You know, I think when, uh, you know, you want to be a fierce competitor, but but you also have to really love what you're doing. So that means, you know, as a coach, you want to love what you're doing. And, and as a player, you want to love uh, coming every day to practice. You want to, you want to look forward to the games. And, um, you know, so we want our, our teams to kind of mirror a little bit of, of, of who we are as well, but, but then add their own personality. I think what maybe makes my background unique is, is being at the professional level. Um, a lot of things that we incorporate are things that you know, the way that you would treat professional players as well in, in some areas. And then obviously there's other areas that, you know, college student athletes need a little bit more discipline and, and uh, structure than, than a pro player. But certainly there's, there's some great things you can learn and bring from the professional level. Uh, collegiately as well. Eric, going off that, How likely what, what, is it that we'll bring any staff from Arkansas or retain any of the guys here? Yeah, I think right now everything's happening, you know, so fast that, um, you know, from a staff perspective, um, I don't think there's any doubt that I would, you know, really like some continuity um, staff-wise. Um, so there, I'm sure there'll be some members from from Arkansas come. How quickly that, you know, comes together, I, I don't know, but. Um, you know, and then, like I mentioned, like great respect for Coach Andy Enfeld and what, what his staff has done. And I know some of those guys, and, um, you know, so I, I think it'll just be, you know, take us probably a week to try to figure out where we where we go with the staff. Yeah, going, off of, going off of Ryan's question, you know, what, what do you anticipate is kind of the, what do you want fans to know about the coaching style that you're going to bring to USC? And do you anticipate, you know, that kind of changing at all in this L.A., you know, market, what you're bringing in? I, you know, I, I think from a coaching style standpoint, I don't, I don't, you know, come into the L.A. market. I've, you know, I've, I've coached in the L.A. market, although it was, you know, the G League and, and it was the defenders. So I, I think, 
you know, you kind of coach what your team is too. Like your team needs a personality based on who they are. Um, you know, and some teams can can kind of they can kind of roll out there and. I didn't do a lot of coaching some nights with, with Caleb and Cody Martin when, when we had them in Nevada because they kind of self-coach themselves and other teams need a lot of structure and need play calling and um, how involved the coach gets in the game often depends on what their personnel is. If you have a quiet point guard, the coach is going to have to call out a play every time you know down the floor, so to speak, when, you, when you're in your half-court system. And if you have a real vocal point guard, then the coach can maybe focus a little bit more on defense. So really, we could tell until we got our team. I don't. I don't know what my personality is going to change based on who we have as a as a unit. What's so the last you day were been like? Successful at Nevada pretty quickly. Then you were successful at Arkansas pretty quickly, leading those teams to the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight. What are you taking from those experiences to come in right now and try to make this a winner right off the bat? Well, yeah, the plan is to try to win as you know as as quickly as we can, but also do it the right way. Um, and so uh, recruiting, you know, I, I don't, every coach is, you know, if your personnel is going to be a big key and, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, we're, we're a little behind, you know, like this, this process, meaning, um, you know, some, some head coaches that are in place have had a little bit more time on the portal. And so we're going to have to change our conversations with some of the people that we were talking about Arkansas and some of the um, positives about playing at Arkansas to, to now talk about playing, you know, in the Big Ten and playing at USC. So um, those conversations started happening last night and, uh, and they'll continue to happen. But certainly we want to try to win and, and do it the right way as quick as possible. And, and uh, the only way to do that is to have really good players. What's your elevator pitch to get a kid to come to USC? Well, I, I, what I need to do is get with some of the other coaches on campus and find out what their successful conversation pieces that have been, um, you know, with, with recruits. I know I know how I feel about it, and, and, and I used a lot of that stuff last night when I was on. But I, I want to learn from a lot of the coaches on campus on what's been successful for them. Just like when I went to Arkansas, it was really important for me to lean on our women's soccer coach there and I leaned on the track coaches at Arkansas for for what made them have great success so um, you know I, I talked to, to Lindsay already and had a great long phone conversation with her but when she gets back in town I need to sit with her and her staff and find out you know some of the stuff that they've utilized to, 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 to get with recruits and I texted with coach Riley and I, I hope to get with him at some point when the schedule allows and, and, and learn, you know, what, he, what he's had success with as well. Coach, um, does it concern you at all that a lot of the portal players have already committed? And yeah. so some, <laughs> you can uncommit them, I guess. Um, so that it's not fair to say the pickings are slimmer, but, but some of the top players are gone. Yep. Um, does that mean you've got to be out there like now? You don't even want to be here. You want to be talking to them? I, yeah, that would be true. <laughs> I mean, we, we want to get on the phone. I mean, it's it's uh, you know I got up at about 5:15 because I knew that you know there's obviously a, a time change back east, and so um, I wanted to be able to hit you know guys on the phone, but whether it's via text by 8 a.m. and and um, yeah, it's important for us to. To hit, you know, to, to, to get on this as quick as possible. So you're juggling staff, you're trying to relocate, and, and you got to recruit. And out of all that stuff, the most important thing is recruiting. And do you have any staff people set right now, either coming from Arkansas or anywhere? No, nah, yeah, we hope to, you know, just because it's happened so quick, you know, I mean, we, we hope to, to make some, some things happen as quick as possible. But, you know, maybe one or two guys will happen fairly quick and then you know, have a little bit more patience as, as it goes on. Eric, Jen mentioned, you know, you, you work on her first choice, you know, throughout the process. And in general, you know, what, what was the communication like just throughout the interview process? Where, where, did you reach out to her first? Did she reach out to you? You know, what, what was just the mutual wow. kind of entrance like? That's a good question. <laughs> I'm not sure who reached out first, to be honest. <laughs> I got to ask, I'm, I'm, that's a really, because we've had a lot of conversations. Yeah. Um, I will say when it came open, I knew right away that, that it was something of great interest. Um, 
That's a good. That's a good one. What was, what was just the timeline like in that sense of you know going back and forth, the, the conversations that, that you had that made you feel like you know this is the right fit for me. And, and the pitch I, you know, so, yeah. So I think sometimes there's just like um, you know you kind of click, you know, like you could just feel like a, a, a bond or. Um, you know, because there's been other opportunities, and maybe, and maybe it's just you know that's you know not on the same, you know. But with with Jen, her, I mean, one, she's got great energy. I think some of the things that she was uh, that she had prioritized, uh, maybe I I fit, and so that made our conversations really easy and comfortable because, um, again, maybe her outline of, of of what she felt would work or need it or whatever word you want to use I, you know maybe maybe that you know had something to do with the conversations going as good as they did what did she say what was her message to you about what this program did need i don't know if it was i mean she spoke so highly of, of coach enfield so i don't know if it was any, i think it was just more uh, going into the big 10 and some of the you know want, wanting us to, to understand like you know what that looks like going into the big 10 and you know same conversations. That's the last question for Coach. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let you know. Did I answer that fine? Yeah. Sure. Everybody good? Great. Thanks. I was, I was talking to David Patrick, and he was saying 